What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've got an unboxing for you today that I'm pretty gosh dang pumped about. We got a brand new iCast product that just hit the market from Carl's Bait and Tackle. It's the 10,000 fish tataki, taki, tataki, hot takis frog. Uh, it's a pretty awesome, unique frog that I'm excited to get a chance to get my hands on and also to go fish with and maybe get some frog blow ups. That'd be nice. So we're gonna go frogging as soon as we possibly can for today, we're unboxing this thing. Before we get to it, please consider subscribing to the channel, smash the like on this video and ring that notification bell so you can see when we pop off more videos. Also come join us live every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, we go live and it's a ton of fun. I'd love to see you there and talk to you in chat. So we got a Carl's box, standard box. On the inside, we got a heck ton of frogs and stuff. So let's see what's going on here. Let me get the less important things out of the way. <laughs> They're still important. I always love that with Carl's Club, you get a discount. It's like 35% off roughly, depending on what products you get. And it's like 45 bucks a year to do it. So I get my money back pretty gosh dang quick, especially when I buy things like this. So we picked up some jackhammers. I surprisingly, considering where I fish in Michigan, didn't have white and chartreuse jackhammers. What's wrong with me? So this color right here is called Spot Remover. And we've got just hints of chartreuse there, but like some bright, vibrant colors with a little shad patterning on the bottom. You got a silver jig head, so nice flash to it, and then the silver blade. Uh, if you guys don't fish with jackhammers as your chatterbaits, y'all are missing out because these things are just about the best gosh dang thing on the market, and they hands down catch fish. They're fantastic. Can't get myself enough of these, and I got a lot. Ow! Ow! I always stab myself, literally every unboxing. These hooks are sharp, very, very sharp, but I love them still. I forgive you, Jackhammer. For the next thing, this bag looks really messed up. That's because I cheated. I already unboxed this, went out and fished it for another video in which I used these the entire time. And surprise, surprise, they crushed. So we got the Z-Man Trick Shots, which is really like a drop shot, but also a small paddle tail bait that you can use for spinner baits. And oh, gee whiz, I don't know, maybe a trailer on a Jackhammer. So they work for a lot of different purposes. However, if you didn't notice, they come in hands down one of the best colors on the market, that is Copper Truce. Bass absolutely hammer these things. You got that chartreuse belly on this, and then the flat top side and green pumpkin with red and black, rather copper and black flake to it. That copper flake is absolutely nuts, but check this out. So hyper durable, skinniest section, most dangerous section right here will eventually break. Uh, that's just to that paddle tail there. But I love these things on a drop shot. These are drop shot money. You can also Ned rig them. So if you want a little more action than just like your normal TRD with uh, your Ned rigs, then you can throw something like this on where when this is standing up on bottom, the tail's doing all sorts of wacky stuff. So fantastic bait, can confirm Caught a ton of fish today fishing it. So go get yourself some of these. An invincible drop shot? That's absurd. Okay, main event time. As promised, we picked up some tataki frogs. Not just one or two or three, but four. We have four different colors, one of which is freaking Spider-Man, which is absurd. Uh, so we're gonna look at all these colors. We're gonna get up close and personal with this thing. So just so you guys know, this thing is two and a half inches. It's five eighths of an ounce, so it's real easy to huck out there. It is it's really unique and you're gonna see why. <laughs> Let me just tell you what they said. Crafted with a patent pending external weight system, this helps the tataki wander across the water. The system is molded onto the hooks to increase durability, hefty 5 8 ounce, heavier than most frogs. It kinda is. For further cast, nose is flush with the tie line and tie line, line tie, never heard it written as tie line. Anyways, to prevent debris buildup. Okay, fancy words, let's see this thing. I'm opening all of them. Ooh, that might be my favorite right there. Okay, so we'll start with the classic bullfrog color. So they call this one yellow bullfrog, weird. And then we also have a stone toad, a lethal dose, and rising sun, interesting. Uh, I opened them all so I don't remember which one's which, but just look at the website. But check this out. So. Here is the frog, unique shape to it, and if you guys haven't fished like 10,000 fish, 
some of the Carl stuff, Catchco stuff that's been dropping. It's got like this very modern approach, I would say, almost like some sort of fancy new car <laughs> design to it. So with these like sharp edges and stuff, but there is your tataki frog. Look at the base of that. That's freaking cool. So kind of a tapered body. What they're saying here is they hooked up the line tie in a way that's like right at this nose point. So it should catch less slop when you're going and walking this thing through the swampy areas. That's what they're saying. On top, something unique you can see here too is a little bit of a indent across the top. Interesting. And your weight system is right there. That's it, external. So that is super unique, look at that. So normally there's your heat shrink. Normally it'll get like heat shrunk uh, where the hook is coming out of the hollow body frog just to prevent like water flooding into there so your frog doesn't sink all the time. But in this case, they've actually built an external weight system. That's pretty rad, it goes right up over those hooks. And then the hooks, check this out, go right up along the edge. They fit kind of perfectly along that edge of that frog. Looks really, really good. Got drainage system right up top, the frog butt. There you go, right up top. And if you haven't noticed something crazy, crazy little antennae or something, we got streamer material here. That's really unique. I haven't seen that on frogs ever, but check this out. Okay, we got our normal skirt coming out the back, and then we got the flashy streamer material, which will float really good on top of the water. I mean, I'm used to using this when fly fishing, but it has a ton of flash to it, and the fish just dig it. They jump right on that stuff. So that is pretty cool. As far as the material, not bad. I mean, it, it's a moderately stiff frog. Um, thanks to, I can't remember who pointed this out, but somebody pointed it out in the comments before. Uh, thanks to the hot tip from somebody who watches these videos, we're saying you can just boil your frog if you, for like two, three minutes, if you want to soften the plastic and it stays soft. So that's cool, hot tip. If you haven't done that, try it out. I know I'm gonna, but this is pretty solid. We don't have too wide of a hook gap here either, so I don't think I'm gonna have too much of an issue with hookup ratio when dealing with bass. I, I tend to do better with small frogs in the area. This isn't a giant frog, but it's also not a tiny frog. Somewhere in the middle. Not bad though, I dig it. I dig the shape, I dig the design. Look at these, look at these angry eyes. So that's the yellow bullfrog. Then we got what I'm gonna call Spider-Man. Somebody pointed that out on Instagram, by the way, so credit to them. But this is Spider-Man, so that like red and blue. I think this one is the rising sun that they're talking about. Check that out, that is just fantastic. I have not thrown a red frog. If you guys have thrown a red frog before, or maybe some other obscure color other than like black, white, the browns and the frog patterns, like tree frog, bullfrog, that kind of stuff, let me know below in the comments. But this is sweet. We got blue, we got red. This is probably the first one I'm gonna throw, just because it's super unique. I know nobody around me is throwing a frog like this or this color, so I'm gonna be the first. Let's do it. This thing is juicy. And then you got that silver streamer with black and blue material coming out the back. This might actually be rising sun because it has sort of this rising sun pattern coming off the back. But I'm digging this one too. So we've got these like grays and blacks and reds. Look at that red streamer material I love. And then all black coming out the back. This one right here might be my go-to. I'm definitely gonna throw the red one just to throw the red one. But this one is freaking fire. I love that so much. And finally, we got what I think is gonna be stone toed here, but we've got just the blacks and the browns. This is probably the safe go-to. What I dug about this one and the reason I picked it is all black material off the back. So even the streamer material is just black, pretty flashy, looking good. I wonder how durable this material is gonna be. That's something I'm interested in finding out. I'm like a little hesitant to pull too hard on it. So we'll see how it holds up to multiple bites once we can get on a good frog day. Also check out the uh, off the weight transfer, the frog's butt here looks pretty good as far as like getting over cover. I mean, th this looks like, to me reminds me of more of the all terrain of like a Booyah Pad Crasher or a Spro Bronze Eye, like which are my favorite, just like tapered nose frog right now. We'll see how this one holds up. But those are my favorite ones to just run through, you know, pads, the slop, all of that stuff, because I'm not worried about them getting hung up. So this thing is juicy. 
Look at that. Look at the freaking back of that too. That's awesome. Really cool design. Uh, feels really good. I like the idea of the external weight system here. Interested to see how that works once we actually get a chance to get these out in the water. So you let me know what you think. Hit me up in the comments below. Should we do a all frog video? Maybe even a frog showdown. Should we compare this to other frogs? If so, which ones? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to just see a full day of just fishing these, let us know. I mean, I'm down for it. I'm always down for a frog day. It sounds like almost too much fun. It's illegal. All right, you guys, there's an up close and personal look at the tataki frog from 10,000 fish. In my opinion, pretty slick frog, definitely unique, brings some new stuff to the table in the frog market. So I'm very interested to see how it performs on the water because all this is really cool, but we got to put it to work and see what happens. And I'm excited to do that. So stay tuned for another video on that later. Give us some ideas in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to subscribe, smash the like, and ring that notification bell so you can see when we drop more content. And then come back Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern and hang out with us when we do a live podcast right here on YouTube. Love to see you there and talk to you in chat. All right, getting like kind of antsy for a frog fish. I think I might go frog fishing now. I'll see you guys on the next video.